My name is Patricia Baranowski Schneider, CEO of Pristine Advisors, investor relations, public relations, and media relations and marketing firm. I have over 35 years experience working in the industry for clients around the world in just about every niche possible. So you ever feel like quitting or you feel like you're a failure or you tried something and it didn't work <clears throat> and maybe and maybe everything everybody said about you you're just made sense and you just feel like quitting because you you don't feel like you're getting anywhere. Well, I'm going to tell you some interesting stories about some people that honestly, I didn't even know about myself. So, but here's some interesting facts. Did you know Abraham Lincoln? In 1860, Abraham Lincoln's family was forced out of their home, resulting in young Abe having to start working to support his family. It wasn't long after in 1831 when he started his business, but failed miserably. However, he refused to give up, and a year later, he again lost and ran for state legislator, as well as also lost his job. By this time, he wanted to join law school, but couldn't get in. By 1833, Abe Lincoln borrowed money from a friend, but by year end, went bankrupt again. It took him 17 years to pay off the debt. He was then engaged in 1835, but his fiancée passed away, leaving him depressed. Without losing hope, he got up again and sought to become a state legislator speaker and was defeated again. By 1840, he again ran for Congress and lost. This happened again eight years later, and after many consecutive losses that entailed, he finally won presidency and is known across the globe as the most famous president in the United States. How cool is that? And you know Albert Einstein, the world, the world genius. He didn't start speaking until he was about four years old. He couldn't read until the age of seven. He was also believed to be mentally handicapped, but went on life to, to win the Nobel Peace Prize and completely changed the approach of physics. J.K. Rowling, very known for his Harry Potter books. However, it didn't start that well for her. She was fired from her job as a secretary before she hit it big. Back then, she was already forming the foundation of Harry Potter in her mind, along with the, the chapters and situations that Harry would face. All the daydreaming led to getting fired, which put her on the path to becoming one of the most celebrated authors. She began writing ferociously, but later that year, her mom died of health complications. In 1992, she moved to Portugal to teach English. She met a man, got married, had a daughter. However, she was divorced a year later, and by this time was on chapter three of her book, feeling like an absolute failure. By this time, she was jobless, divorced, penniless, and had a dependent child. She suffered from depression, and eventually signed up for government-assisted welfare. She pushed through it, and yet she was rejected by publishers. A small publishing house accepted it later, and an advance of $1,500 was set, sent to her. The book began with only about 1,000 copies, and by 1997 and 1998, it won the Nessie Smarties Book Prize and the British Book Award for Children's Book of the Year. That marked the start of her victories, and today she sold, she sold more than 400 million copies of her book. She's considered to be one of the most successful authors in the world. And did you know Henry Ford? Henry Ford had failed two times in a banquet prior to his success. He was poor but nothing more than an elementary school education. In 1899, he formed his first company in 36, which soon went bankrupt. He then formed the Ford Company, which then turned into Cadillac. After that, he revolutionized the automobile industry by pioneered not only the, the Model T as well as the assembly line, but also the concept and notion of an automobile in every home. Driving became normal in the United States, and subsequently, for his Model T, he went to sell over 17 million units. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share this post with anybody you think would find it valuable, and don't forget to click the bell notification to find out about future videos. As the title of my post says, Been There, Done That. I guarantee you, through the years, I've done it all. Through my decades of working in the industry, I've learned a lot. I've learned from many mistakes, and I can help you put you in front of the, in front of the audience that matters most to you. Contact me at 631-756-2486. You can also email me at p-b-a-r-o-n-o-w-s-k-i at Christine Advisors. That's p-r-i-s-t-i-n-e-a-d-v-i-s-e-r-s.com. You can also find out more about me on my website at christineadvisors.com. You can also find out more about me on my other website at pbaronowski.com. Mm -hmm.